I woke up sometime later, but I've got no idea how long. I always really suck at estimating time and age. I used to work at this amusement park where I guessed people's ages for money, and if I was wrong, they won a prize. I say I once worked there because, well, they ran out of prizes. And there were some really pretty pissed off forever 29 year olds who complained about me to management. Anyway, so I woke up and I couldn't move my arms or legs. This was kind of odd since normally I have full use of my appendages. Ladies. But this time they were totally not working. I tried to stick up my head and found out that my neck was glued down onto the table. This was a painful process since I have some neck hair like that goes back here and yanking it up really 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 hurt. Anyway, I looked around from what I could see. I was outside, obviously, and it was dark and dreary out. The sun was setting, and the clouds were gathering above me. Meanwhile, I could smell fire near me. Suddenly, a boy stuck his face over mine. Not too close, but about a foot away. He had horrible breath, and he was covered in acne, and his medium-length hair was tangled and dirty. He grinned when he saw I was awake. A strand of spit fell on my forehead. LOL. Noob. Exclamation mark. One one. What? Dude, WTF news everywhere. Again, I was dumbfounded. What? Who are you? Where am I? Dude, I am Jesus. Lols. JK, JK, JK. Seriously, my name's Trevor, and like, you totally trespassed us as land, so like, we're gonna eat you now. What? Dude. Oh my god, people food. Lols. JK, JK, JK. Actually, no, JK, JK, JK. I'm for reals. Where the hell am I? I said, staring at the kid. Planet Spog, bitches. Actually, we're on planet Earth. This is an island. For reals? Well, anyways, GTG. GG. He walked away. GG? I sat on the table for hours until I remembered my ride to this horrible place. Derek! The scream brought another tribes person over. Are you serious? Another freaking complaint? Come on, people, just shut the f up already. I wasn't complaining. I mean, dear God, I don't get paid for this job unless you count gold status as paid. I don't. I get a journal and some photo albums to put pictures of kittens in. Big deal. And everyone complains. I can never do the job right. You all are never satisfied. I hate being a sheriff. Another guy came up. Dude, this is our land. We live on it, so we get full rights to all decisions ever made. And you sheriffs suck. We should all be in charge. With love and peace governing, not greedy assholes like you. I think since I am a member of this community, I should forever be a part of the de democracy. There would be no problems under my regime. Are you serious? Peace and love? Do you know what kind of sickos live here? We shouldn't even have kids here. It's that dangerous. You want to govern? Be my guest. Your blood pressure will go up too until you're suffering. The two continued arguing. After a few minutes, the non-sheriff left, and the sheriff sat down and released the tension in his shoulders. It was quiet for a few minutes. Then the other guy came back. With a sword.